Hi there and welcome to this lesson where we're going to insert some third party plugin synths. Now we've got a little beat production going here and we've got it up to a point of where there's a little breakdown where the musical elements start to come into place. So what we need to do now is add a couple of third party synths. Now in the pack that you've got with this you should see a couple of links for two websites where you need to download two third party plugins and they are this one. The OXE FM synth, and that's from that address there, which is in the link. And this one also, which is the Rave Generator, which is available from this link. Now, they're completely free, and you don't have to do anything other than just download them. So, whether you're Mac or Windows, um, you can download them. So, what I want you to do is find the suitable one, which is yours. I've already got them installed on mine. Um, and this one here, you just need to click the link here where it says click here to download the latest version and then you'll get some Google Drive link come up and then you download whichever one is relevant to you the 64-bit Mac or the 64-bit PC or whatever so once you've downloaded those two you then need to create a folder on your hard drive this is if you're not familiar with downloading VSTs so you need to create a folder here and I've just called it VST plugins and it's on my C drive within my PC you double click on it and that's where all of my soft synths are, the DLL files. Now, when you download them and unzip them, you will cut and paste them into here. So there's the Rave Generator one and there's my OXE one. Okay, so what you do is you unzip them, put them into a file called the VST Plugins folder. And then once you've done that, go back to Ableton and go to Options, Preferences, and in your file folder you will have a rescan plugin okay and it says here rescan plugins and you will select you'll browse the file which is obviously VST plugins on my hard drive click rescan and it will do a little search and then they will all automatically come up over here on this panel okay and then you'll find them there's the OXE there and then there's the rave generator there so in order for us to progress to this bit, we're going to create this little bit here where we're going to use a sound from the OXT and the Rave Generator. And this is just to give you uh, an idea of how when a track reaches after a drum snare, which is what we did on this section, and then you break it down slightly to a couple of drum patterns and some musical elements. And it goes like this. like so. So we're going to create that um, but first of, of course you need to install the Rave Generator and the OXE. And once you've installed those head over to the next lesson and I will take you through to the next stage. Thank you and goodbye.